In today's video, I'll be sharing with you all you need to know about a long-term visit pass application. And of course, as usual, I'll be sharing with you some important tips to note when applying for your LTVP as well. I will do my best to cover as much as I can in this video, but if I'm unable to do so, please do remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay tuned to our weekly new content. Without further ado, let's begin! There is a one-time application fee of $30 that's non-refundable regardless of the outcome of your application. You may make this payment via various payment modes such as credit card, debit card, internet banking, and even pay now. The average processing time for a LTVP application may take up to 6 weeks. So don't be kiasu and email ICA asking for the status, for the outcome, anytime before these 6 weeks. During these 6 weeks, the foreign applicant may leave Singapore, especially when his or her short-term visit pass has expired. Just to note that when your application gets approved and receives the in-principle approval letter, you are only given 30 days to complete the formalities. Hence, if the foreign applicant is overseas at a point in time, please do return back to Singapore quickly. You will be notified of the outcome of the application via email from ICA. The local sponsor will then have to log in to ICA's e-service via his or her SingPass to download the in-principle approval letter if it has been approved. Once the in-principle approval letter is downloaded, you will then have to make the payment as soon as possible to proceed to the next steps. The payment involves $60 for the LTVP card and $30 for a multi-journey visa if required. You will be provided with the list of documents and instructions in the in-principle approval letter. Do know that the local sponsor and foreign applicant needs to head down to ICA building in person to complete the formalities and collect the physical LTVP card. Remember to book an appointment before you head down to ICA and do not just walk in like that. For some foreign applicants, you are required to conduct a medical checkup before completing the formalities. As for the list of documents, it really depends on under what category you are applying for the LTVP. For example, if today you are a foreign spouse of a Singapore citizen or PR, you are required to produce your marriage certificate in original copy. Let's say if you are an aged parent, you are required to produce a birth certificate to prove your relationship with the local sponsor. So all this information and details will be explicitly indicated in your in-principle approval letter. In some cases, you may need to pay a security deposit for long-term visit pass of each parent of a Singapore PR. The amount to pay and how to pay will be indicated in the in-principle approval letter, so please go through your letter carefully in order not to miss out any specific documents or instructions. Alright, and that's all for the two-part video on LTVP application. While the LTVP application may not be as complicated as the Singapore PR application, it is still not uncommon to see many applications being rejected by ICA due to the sheer lack of knowledge on the application process, documents required, or even on the eligibility requirements. Feel free to contact us if you ever need our assistance and we are more than happy to help. Let our experienced Tim help you if you ever encounter any difficulties or get rejected with your LTVP application. Give us a like if you have found this helpful and feel free to leave your comments below if you have any questions that you'd like us to clarify. If you are new to this channel, hit on the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on our weekly videos. I'll see you guys! Okay, it's a wrap. Don't go. Oh, finally. Hey, K-Battles appear for the next video, huh?